Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Teresa. Oh, Mamsy, what are you doing? Today, I am doing a very exciting unboxing. I have been waiting to do this for so, so, so long now. If you can already tell from the title, I finally got a camera. So I've been doing YouTube for almost a year now and I have always been filming on my phone. I have the iPhone SE, which actually came out after the six, but it's basically a five refurbished. They're really not very new or exciting in any way and not like the best quality, but that is what I've been filming on for the past year. And I told myself that I would get a camera once I knew that I absolutely loved YouTube and really wanted to stick with it. Most people out there on YouTube use the G7X Mark II, but I actually decided to go a different route, one that has a couple more extensions and we'll get to that, but first, Let's unbox because I have been waiting to unbox this for a full 24 hours now and I'm actually going insane. All right, we got the box here. It's pretty big, but it came with a couple extra things as well. All right, first up in our box of goodies, high speed, secure, digital, high capacity, easy plug and play installation. Okay, I actually don't know what this is right now. <laughs> We'll get back to that. All right, then it actually came with one of these like kind of like portable like selfie stick kind of things. And I actually kind of have one of these already, but this definitely looks like way more industrial. So that will be really good. Okay, this is just a cleaning kit. Super, super generic, but very good to have. Then we got the camera bag. Oh, okay, I was so worried. This was gonna be so much bigger than it is. Like if you can tell, it's kind of like, the size of like two hands. I thought it was gonna be massive and I thought I would never use it, but this is actually like a really good size. Let's take it out of this packaging. So I got this whole package from Amazon and I will link it down below. I was looking at a bunch of different packages and like there's so many different things out there. Like they come with like different memory cards and different like accessories and stuff. I was trying to go as minimal as possible because I didn't really need like excessive amount of accessories. So I just wanted to get a cheaper price for getting less stuff and just get the basics of like what I really need. But this camera bag will actually be perfect. This is a really good size. Like I thought it was gonna be huge. So this is perfect. Cleaning wipes. I don't know what you are. I assume you have something to do with the lens. I've never had a professional camera before. So this is gonna be a learning experience for me. Filter kit. Okay, this is one thing that was specific to what I got. So this is like filters for the lens to make it like look cool. This will, I'll definitely have to play around with this. There are some examples. It wasn't something that was necessary, but it was included in this kit and this kit was like a really good deal. Okay, this is the Pro Series Point. 4.3x high definition AF wide angle lens. I'm gonna be honest, I don't totally know what that means. So we will figure that out as well. There's a lot of mystery items here. Saving the best for last, obviously. Okay, this one is a 2.2x telephoto professional lens, 52 milliliters. M milliliters? Oh my gosh, no. We are not measuring liquid here, Teresa. 52 millimeters. There's an example. Yeah, so. Again, we'll see how that goes. I'm waiting for like the regular lens. Um, it came with a 15 millimeter lens. Okay, I don't know what this box is. We gotta open this guy. I think this might be the regular lens. Yep, this is the regular one. There's no labeling on it. I can't remember exactly. I think it's 15 to 45. I think that's what it is. So this is what the lens looks like. Oh my gosh, it feels so professional. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh! Oh my gosh, the actual camera. I have never gotten anything like this, like fancy bougie. Okay, except for my laptop. That was the only like fancy thing that I have ever gotten. But this is, this is number two for sure. This is just the battery charger. Super simple there. And this is the camera. Oh my goodness. Wow. This literally feels like Christmas morning. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. I kind of expected that though. Oh my gosh, like. This, this is beautiful. It already feels so natural in my hand. Like, wow, she is pretty. Oh, I also never mentioned what camera I got. I got the Canon EOS M6. And so the reason that I picked this camera over the G7X Mark II for vlogging, this one 
has Wi-Fi and the G7X Mark II does not have Wi-Fi. It has Bluetooth, but not Wi-Fi. So that is awesome. But this one also, you can have an external mic and an external flash, which you can do neither on the G7X Mark II. There is not like a plug-in to put it in, but you can do that with this one. And I don't have a mic right now. It wasn't in this kit, but I figured that I would want to get that eventually just to help like the audio and stuff. Okay, so I really wanted to turn it on right now, but the battery is definitely separate and I'm sure it is not charged camera strap and that is everything in this box the screen on this is actually like kind of huge like I'm actually really surprised I thought it would be a lot smaller oh my goodness I just figured out a new thing sitting right here I brought you guys closer so you could see but so not only does this flip out but you can also like go like this so it's kind of like an accordion that is super, super cool. And I love that it flips up. I know there's some cameras out there that flip down, but that seems very impractical to me because usually this is gonna be on a tripod of some sort. So I wanted something, like I said, that, you know, I can just vlog, see myself very easily. So I will have to attach the lens to this. Oh gosh. Okay, so that comes off really easily. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do this right now. Ooh, ooh. Okay, she's simple. Ooh, okay, it just like clicked in. That was so easy. Wow, this looks like really big though. This is actually kind of heavy. Okay, yeah, this is definitely a 1545 millimeter lens. So I just took out this little part on the top and I'm pretty sure this is where you would put a mic or a flash. You like dock it in so it's nice and stuck on there. I'm sure there's a very more professional way of saying that, but um, we're gonna go with that. So this must be how the Wi-Fi connects. So right here is kind of like the universal Wi-Fi symbol. I really wanna test this out though, so I think I need to charge the battery for a little bit and come back to you guys. All right, so I just charged the battery for a little bit, so it should be good to go for at least a little while. And I, I didn't show you guys the last thing. It was left in the bottom of the box. This is a 128 gigabyte memory card. There were a bunch of different options for cameras that came with like different size memory cards so like one came with like 216 gigabytes one came with 232s but one 28 is definitely the best option out of all of those just having one is just like so much simpler to have so I don't have to worry about running out of space so now we are going to put the battery in we're going to put the memory card in and I'll fire this baby up all right moment of truth oh my gosh there is a lock mechanism here wait wait yes 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 oh my gosh wow okay this is gonna be like looking really weird camera through camera oh my gosh this is gonna look so cool though just like flipping the camera up like oh my gosh that's so freaking cool we gotta test the zoom on this so if we're looking there Oh my gosh, yes. I can actually like zoom in on things. This is amazing. I'm so tired of just like pinching my fingers on the iPhone. This is awesome. And of course the battery is blinking right now because I literally only charged it for a few minutes just because I wanted to test this out. Okay, so now that we have the camera on, we need to do the official test. I wanna test the quality on my iPhone versus this camera. Okay, so right now we are on the iPhone, so this is what the iPhone looks like. And now, this is what the camera looks like. Whoa, okay, I'm gonna look away from the screen for a second so I can look at myself. I'm interested in how fast the autofocus goes. So let's see how much it focuses. Okay, so it's not really focusing right now. So if I wanna focus on this table. Okay, so I just pressed like the little like Basically, it's like the picture taking button. I don't know. There's probably an official word for it. But the picture taking button, and that is how like it like focuses. I think this is a touch screen though. Yeah, it is a touch screen. So I can touch the screen to focus, but I can also just like tab that little button and it helps focus it a little bit better. So that is super interesting. This looks really good though. Also, this camera's really heavy and my arm's already getting tired. So this is definitely going to be an adjustment. This is definitely a much wider angle than the iPhone. Like you can see a lot more above me and to my sides than you would be able to on the iPhone. You can see just like, you can just see so much more. This is awesome.
So that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely check out future videos because it is going to be a great content on this amazing new camera. I need to go pack for my trip to Nashville because I have a very early flight in the morning. So I'll catch you guys in the next one.